Welcome to OSCE Tips for Student Vet Nurses with Jane RVN. I hope you enjoy the video. Hi and welcome to a video on a quick release knot that you might use for an equine task. There's two versions. The first one I'm going to make a four. So hold one end of the rope in each hand, turn your rope so that you've made a number four and pull the rope through from the back to the front. There is a slow-mo version later in the video. And this is the second option. And this is where you make a P instead of a four. So again, in each hand, P in, with rope in front, pull the rope round and in front again. If that all seemed a little quick, don't worry. I've got a breakdown of how to make the knots here but also we've got some slow-mos of the middle of the and end of the making the knot that are probably the trickier parts. Two different versions, so you can go for making the four or making the P. That might be easier if you're left or right-handed, but what you want to do with both of them is the piece of rope that you've made the either the four where it intersects the upright or the bottom of the curved part of the P, that's always got to be in front because you need to then take the rope that you've just put in front around the upright rope, push it slightly up, and then be able to pull it through that existing loop for the curved part of the P or the triangle part of the four. And then once it's there, keep one hand on the upright piece of rope so that it doesn't move and then pull the loop that you've made closed because then the four, the triangle of the four and the curved part of the P will close and that holds your knot together. And here's a slightly quicker slow-mo and this one's for a P. So my right hand is taking the rope around the upright, pulling it through. My left hand is holding on to the other end of the rope. So these slow-mo videos should hopefully let you see what's happening because it's usually the quickest part of tying the knot that's the bit that you want to see most closely. So you can see here I've made the four and I'm using my right hand to push that piece of rope back. My left hand is grabbing it and then it's going to very gently pull it through. But the important part with this is once that piece of rope is in my left hand, my right hand is going to move down and hold the other end of the rope because you need some equal tension on it so that you can actually pull the loop that you're holding in your left hand nice and tight. The video has slowed it down quite a lot so I do appreciate if you've made tea or you know have looked at something else while this is going on. The exciting part is about to start happening now, I promise. So here we can see my left hand has got that piece of rope and it's pulled it from behind and it's pulling it through and I've moved my right hand down so that I've definitely got hold of both ends of the piece of rope. And obviously in reality I would have control of my horse at all times while I was tying my quick release knot so I would need to have both hands on my um, lead rope. But here you can see my left hand pulling through, my right hand's putting a bit of tension on the rope on the bottom, and then I'm going to pull with my left hand so that the loop goes upwards. And it means that the slack rope that was there making the triangle for the four is then going to come into my loop and make my quick release knot. So you can see that's gently what's happening. And if you watch, my right hand isn't pulling down, it's my left hand pulling up. So make sure that you get that movement when you're doing yours because you'll then get a better size of knot and your rope won't slip. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would like new videos emailed to you. Join me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at JaneRVN or janerrvn.com for videos, blogs and more.